Hi, my name's Craig. I'm here to talk to you today about using the auto tuner by Bench Mode. As you can see, we have our laptop already set up for us. We have our auto tuner tool. We will be using this cable today. And I'll explain exactly what these are further on. And of course, we're gonna use the mains adapter. We're gonna to connect to this nice ECU taken from a Ford Focus 1.0 liter EcoBoost. We need to connect the auto tuner tool to the laptop to open the application. Once loaded, it will give you the following options, EC operations and master operations, which contain decoding and encrypting. Today, we'll be using the EC operations option. Now as with the OBD video, we will be again selecting the car icon option. And as we know, the ECU is from a Ford. We choose the Ford option in the manufacturer menu. In the model menu, select the option of Ford Focus Mark III. We know this is a MED 17.0.1 ECU. You can search the Bosch number on the ECU, or you can give us a call and we can help you to identify the ECU if you're not too sure. Sometimes it is labeled on the ECU itself. On this screen, we have the options for Bench, Boot and OBD. But as the video is from Bench, we will be selecting this option. There are other options available for diagnostics and data logging. Please see our other auto-tuner videos on these topics. We are now on the main screen for the ECU. Now, as we don't know how to connect just yet, we need to go through the instructions. This menu gives you an image of the ECU, which helps for identification. If you scroll down the page, it will list all the relevant accessories you require to connect to the ECU. We will need the universal cable and the mains adapter to complete this job. Further down on the screen, it gives you optional accessories like an electrostatic mat. Further down the page, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect to the ECU. It's color-coded in line with the universal cable. If you're having difficulty seeing color-coded connections, which need to be made on the ECU screen, there's a dark mode option. This makes things a lot easier. Now, we'll be connecting to the ECU. Now that we've connected to the ECU, we now need to identify it and ensure that our connection is correct. On screen, you can see the AltaTuner software is talking to the ECU to try and get some more information. As you can see, the software has recognized this ECU as a MED 17.0.1 ECU from the Ford Focus Mark III. We can now continue with this read. Select the read icon. The virtual read option is only available for OBD reading. Now we need to decide where to save the files which AltaTuner will generate. Choose a logical place for you and follow some standard naming conventions such as a car registration and customer name. In this example, for ease, we'll save it to the desktop. After selecting the destination for the save file, it will now take the read of the ECU. The nice chime at the end indicates all processes have been completed. You can now send this file to Visu using the dealer portal. Your file will be returned to you within the hour after it's been tuned by one of our technical team. Now that we've received our file back from being tuned, we can now write it to the ECU. If you've disconnected your ECU, in the meantime, you will need to reconnect it again using the instructions previously completed. From here, we now choose the Write ECU option. You can choose either the tuned file or the backup file. We will be selecting the tuned file that was sent back to us. On selecting this file, you receive a warning which is to check to see if you're writing the correct file to the ECU. If you were to write an incorrect file to the ECU, then you could damage the ECU. So this is the time to double check everything to make sure it's the right file before you press continue. Click yes, and it now begins the upload process to the ECU. That final chime indicates the file's been written to the ECU. You can now return the ECU to the vehicle for testing. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it very informative. You can check out our website for more information and training if needed.